What's up, everybody? It's your dog, the dog, Manny. I have to really get a better intro. Jeez. But I'm bringing you a little bit of news to them. Somewhat. I'm going to read all these from the Happy Gamer app. Alright, so it's video game news app. This is going to be a smartphone. iOS and Amazon. Android. Uh, yeah, Android. Uh, Happy Gamer. A P P Y Gamer. And uh, this was published by IGN. Nah, I'm gonna read it word for word. Uh, Naughty Dog discusses possible crash Bandicoot revival. Um, if for any of those who don't know, they're too young to really remember, Crash Bandicoot was PlayStation's original mascot. You know, uh, Nintendo had Mario, Sega had Sonic, PlayStation had Crash, but Naughty Dog has taken has talked about the possibility of reviving both Crash Bandicoot and Jack the Dexter franchises as well as whether it ever consider remastering the Uncharted franchises for PS4 ahead of the Uncharted 4 release. Uh, speaking of IGN, community strategist, I don't know how to say that name, Arnie Meyer, uh, uh, yeah. engaged with Sony President Andrew House's recent comments we could see the infamous marsupial return and revealed that while Naughty Dog had no immediate plans to revisit either Crash or Jack the studio definitely wouldn't rule anything out so basically it sounds like there's a possibility but there's nothing promised yippee it's never off the table he said it's not too much time passing but it's the same issue we explored with Jack. here's the sparrow link it, is it something that makes sense to us now i mean we still have people that worked on the crash games in the studio we never forget our past it would be great for the style of reason hell fucking yes it would be great for the style of reason jackass we're late <clears throat> sorry <laughs> all right uh, it would be the same be reason the as why there isn't a Jack 4. I don't know if it's playing on a strength right now. Right now, oh, he's still talking about that. Right now, what's well, exciting, everyone at the studios continue to work on narrative driven games with strong characters. I think, at least for the time being, we haven't developed the possibility there, but it could change with something as simple as hardware. That's what drove us before. I think we're on to something really good. Though creating characters to see that's the thing too. I don't, I don't want to play a game just to watch as like a movie. You want to play a game to read. I mean, I mean, watch the movie. You can have a movie set. You want to play a game to have fun. Crash Bandicoot Caves are fun. And Jack and Dexter games. Platform. Really get you immersed in it, and then it's just uh, fun games from pick up to the end, not not worn down by cutscenes. I really think that Crash Bandicoot's hardly have any cutscenes except for World Cortex. Um, whatever his name was, was trying to talk to you. That was the only cutscene, but then again, that was small. <sighs> yeah, he's still talking. Alright, with the immediate release of Black Mirror Remastered, however, and the reveal of Uncharted 4 that thieves in, some have speculated the developer may opt to release the remastered collection of the first three Uncharted on PS4. Despite Yoshida, despite Yoshida's having personally suggested such a thing to Naughty Dog. Mayor explained it was a question of priorities. So it seems like they're not gonna do that, but they're considering remaking the first three Uncharted games again. Even though it's on PS3. But you won't remake a game from PlayStation. Revive that back. This this just console generation is really stupid. Um, We're approaching I have the a video about that later. The fallen are using some sort of really signal amplifier. Or something else. Let's see what they're transmitting. Even more fucking depressing. This one is from International Business Times. Doom gameplay won't be shown again until 2015 because of negative speculation. This is very bad. Why is it bad? Let me tell you. Well, not tell you. Let me read it. New Doom gameplay footage may have debuted at QuickCon last week, but if it... Wait, hold on, time out. This was in... Yeah, this is just that. Yeah, it may have debuted last week, 
but if new comments from Pete Hines or any indication, it's going to be a while before the general public gets to see the next doing the next. Why? Why would why we not be able to see it? Why not? <laughs> well, I don't feel like reading this crap. I'm gonna run down for it. Apparently, uh, this goes back to the Call of Duty uh, Advanced Warfare thing where people would fucking pause the video of the first YouTube file or on their TV to try and count the fucking pixels. Why would you want to... What, what the fuck is up with this pixel resolution type shit? Why is this a fucking problem? Why is this a problem? Like, come on now, now see what you're doing? You're making a good game that everybody wants to fucking see. Not be shown until the next year. Then you complain why there's nothing being released because dickheads like you. Never mind. Uh, anyway, basically what he said is this is something from the developers that they don't want to show it because they're the Xbox One version of Doom. They don't want to show that because people have a really long history of hating on Xbox One. They want to look at it and be like, oh, this, is, this game sucks, this is not good. It looks like crap, this is not a Canadian pieces. I mean, he don't want to do that shit. So what he did was, but you know what? That's it. I'm not going to fuck this up. We're not going to show you until it's damn near ready. Which is a good thing and a bad thing. Good thing is, you're going to show a final release project that promises on what you're going to show. Which is awesome. If it's done, it's done. Perfect. Then on the bad side, you, you're leaving everyone with this bitter taste in their mouth because the only people that actually get to see the game was people who went to QuakeCon. Everybody can go to QuakeCon. You know? Me being one of them. We can't get up and just go to fucking QuakeCon just to see 20 minutes of the game. It would have been awesome to actually go see because of what I've been read and what my video last night did explained it that the game was awesome, but we won't be able to see anything until, you know, next year sometime, and then again that game still won't be ready, but, you know, that's what you get when you pixel talk, pixel talk on that bullshit. I mean, Excuse me, I'll take that out, but it's, it's, it's whatever. Uh, and one more thing. Um, Tekken 7 is official. And then you got that leak with a trailer that came out, but uh, it's prepped for next gen time. Within the next few days, we're going to see a whole bunch of details on the return of an original 3D fighting game, Tekken 7. This game will feature a far longer trailer than what was shown at Comic Con San Diego. The trailer features. Yeah. This trailer features to return of a classic character which you have to gain an appreciation for in your own game. Shadow of the Beast. Question. Shadow of the Beast questions Kazuya, the original Shadow Warriors bringing back the Eats. Then there's the video. I fucking get the video. I'll just put it in the description, but. Um, basically, yeah, the trailer was leaked the first time, so they're gonna actually make a better trailer Let's this time, apparently, out. and, um, I know you haven't seen the Tekken game since Tekken 6, or Tekken Cross Street Fire, which was kind of a bitch, but, um, yeah, we, I'm ready for this too, like, this is also an older game that everybody played and everybody loved, so it's only right to give people what they want, but, that's not gonna happen. We have people in the in this game Look thing out. which just just makes it not funny. You know? And like I said, I have another video I'll make a video on that really soon. But it, it's uh, that video will be about a follow up to the rant I did earlier about the console war or resolution war, whatever you wanna call it. But this one is way worse. And um yeah, but um if you want some more videos? To you. I know kind of, uh, uh, I was kind of rambling a lot, but trying to read off the app again, the app game rap. Um, but you know, I'm trying to get in the swing of things. Uh, been a lot busy lately. But uh, yeah, subscribe to you, boy, for more videos or check out the other ones I have. We got gameplay stuff and the other new videos, stuff like that. Um, yeah, like the video, share with everybody, help boost somebody up. And I will see you next time for another video. Alright, let's take care of it. Peace out, bitches, and make love. I'm not talking about it. I'm out.